Hey guys, it's Forsaken Reality here with a new beginner tutorial series. If you've ever been interested in learning about Unreal Engine 5, even if you have never done anything with Unreal Engine, then this will be a good course for you. I'll go over the, all the basics you'll need to know along the way as we look into creating a true first person shooter from scratch, which means we'll be using a third person, person mesh as our only mesh in this project. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so you get notified when I upload new tutorial videos. And without further ado, we will get into beginning this episode. Alright, so the first thing we're going to want to do is install the Epic Games Launcher and Unreal Engine 5. And once you launch Unreal Engine 5, you'll be brought up to this window. And we can just select games, and we're going to select a blank third-person project right here. And we're going to make sure it's blueprint. And we can keep starter content collected as selected. And give it a name. I want to make sure it's not too long and make sure the location set you can set your location right here and I'm just going to select that folder and create my project just going to pause this while it creates because it might take a moment for you guys Okay, now that we have that done, we'll be presented with this screen. I'm just going to move my test project out of the way here. And you'll have, you should have the same files as me here. And I'm just going to delete this overview. And the first thing you'll notice, you might come in and you don't have your content browser available. So you can access that in a few ways in Unreal Engine 5. So your content drawer right here. And you'll notice that if you select the viewport, it will disappear. But you can also go up in the Windows, Content Browser, and enable a permanent one. So now we can just organize the files quickly. I'm just going to put the geometry in my maps folder. Content fix up redirectors. Delete my geometry folder. My mannequin and animation, or my character, yeah, my mannequin and animations. I'll move into my third person BP for now. Of redirectors and save. Start content I can leave as is. And in here I'm just going to open this up and select the first one and hold shift and select the final one. And open up my geom. I'm just going to stick this into my geometry folder. Make the content that's redirectors and save. You want to make sure to fix up redirectors when you're moving around files so that it knows where the new files locations are in case you have any blueprints referencing it. And once we have this done, we can delete this third person folder. So now we're left with this. I'm going to create a meshes folder. Rename this the UE4 character so fix up redirectors just in case put him in the meshes folder on my blueprints make a character folder move my character in so redirectors a lot of that when you're moving. I'm also going to rename this to BP Master Character. Right click, fix up redirectors again. 
and their animations. Preparing for some future things we'll be bringing in later as well. So we'll need character animations. Like a default UV4 mannequin, just select that one. Hold shift and select the final one, except for the animation blueprint. Move all of those into there. Fix up redirectors. And one more folder in here. We'll have some weapons that are animated. And... Just double checking to make sure that's everything for now. I'll name my animation blueprint the Master Anim BP. And we'll go into my skeleton. Name that Master Skeleton because we're going to be using those as our main ones for everything. Now we have this organized. If you get this pop-up, you can click Not Now. Now we're just going to take a quick, few quick looks at a few different settings and set up the game mode stuff. First I'll just rename this game mode to FPS underscore GM for game mode in my Blueprints folder. I'm also going to rename my whole folder to whatever you want. It's a good time to do it early on so you don't mess up anything inside just in case. And I'm just going to name it True FPS. You can fix up redirectors there just in case. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is delete this thing. Just click into the delete button. We can select this and you can use the text and actually type in your own. If you wanted to rename that. There's also some settings here for adjusting it here. Like you can adjust the color here. We're also going to delete our character out of the world here, just here, because we have a player start. But you notice if you move it for the first time, it'll have a bad size. That's because it's inside of a mesh. If you bring that out of a mesh, then just above the world here, then that, that will spawn fine. You also want to select your world settings. If that's not displaying for you, you want to go to your windows and select world settings like this. And you'll want to come to game mode and select your FPS game mode that we created and you'll notice that it'll fill out our character and everything like that. So when we click play, it'll spawn us at the start here. Our settings are, are also up here so we can display things like our frames per second. So we can make sure that things are running properly there. You also have game view if you didn't want you wanted to take a picture or view things without all the lines and stuff. If you disable that, you'll notice the lines appear there. There's some useful things in here. Immersive mode. We'll remove all the uh, trimming and you need to click game view to remove all of the outlining and the and icons in the scene. Just disable those again. That's going to be everything for this one. In the next one, we'll look into setting up our first person camera. And we'll move on to things like importing our animations and some weapons. And I'll also set up a character mesh. And we'll look into the spine rotation so that our head moves with the camera. Different things like that. And we'll be setting up so our weapon moves along fluently when aimed and unaimed and everything like that. 
a lot of it will be using procedural animations because it just makes it a little easier to do. If you found this video helpful and want to see more, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss out on any new video uploads. And if you have any questions, suggestions, or comments, feel free to leave those in the comment section below or join my community discord using the link in the description. If I don't get to your question, I'm sure someone else there will and there's some pretty helpful people there. Thanks and I'll see you all in the next one.